Whiskers and Max, the unlikely best friends, in a small, cozy town, there lived a curious cat named Whiskers, and an adventurous dog named Max Whiskers was a sleek, gray cat with bright green eyes and a long tail that swayed gracefully when she walked. She loved lounging by the window, watching birds and the world pass by. Max, on the other hand, was a big, fluffy golden retriever with floppy ears and a wagging tail that never seemed to stop. He loved exploring, running through the fields, and chasing after anything that moved. At first, Whiskers and Max didn't get along. Like most cats and dogs, they didn't understand each other. Whiskers thought Max was too loud and clumsy, while Max thought Whiskers was too sneaky and quiet. They lived in the same house, but they kept their distance. Whiskers would stay perched on a high shelf, while Max would run around the yard, barking excitedly. But one rainy afternoon, everything changed. The storm outside was fierce, with rain pouring down in heavy sheets and thunder rumbling in the distance. Max, who wasn't a fan of storms, curled up under the kitchen table, his tail tucked between his legs. Whiskers, usually calm and collected, couldn't help but feel a little scared too. She tiptoed down from her usual spot and sat near the window, watching the raindrops race down the glass. As a particularly loud clap of thunder shook the house, Max whimpered softly. Whiskers, her heart softening, glanced over at him. Are you scared? She asked, her voice gentle. Max looked up, surprised to see Whiskers so close. A little, he admitted. I don't like storms. Whiskers padded over to him, her tail flicking softly. Me neither, she said, sitting down beside him. But it's just noise, you know? It can't hurt us. Max tilted his head, his big brown eyes looking at Whiskers with curiosity. You're not so bad, he said with a small smile. For a cat, Whiskers purred quietly. You're not so bad either. For a dog. From that moment on, something changed between them. Whiskers and Max began to spend more time together. They discovered that they weren't so different after all. Max loved to play, and though Whiskers pretended to be uninterested, she soon found herself chasing after balls and strings with just as much enthusiasm. One sunny morning, they decided to go on an adventure together. Max suggested they explore the meadow behind the house, a place he loved to run through but had never gone too far into. Whiskers, always curious, agreed. As they ventured into the tall grass, Whiskers led the way, her sharp eyes spotting every small movement. Look, Max. A butterfly, she called out, swatting playfully at the fluttering creature. Max wagged his tail and bounded after it, the two of them racing through the field. They discovered a small stream, where Max splashed around in the water while Whiskers sat on the bank, dipping her paw in and out, watching the ripples. This is fun, Whiskers said, her eyes sparkling. I never thought I'd enjoy getting my paws wet. Max laughed, shaking water from his fur. There's so much more to explore, he barked. Let's see what else we can find. As they continued their adventure, they found a hidden path that led them to a giant oak tree with low-hanging branches. Max tried to climb it, his paws slipping on the bark, while Whiskers easily scampered up to the first branch. Come on, Max. You've got to be lighter on your paws, she teased. Max laughed, his tail wagging. I'll leave the climbing to you, Whiskers. By the time the sun began to set, they had explored every inch of the meadow. Exhausted but happy, they lay down under the oak tree, watching the sky turn pink and orange. Whiskers curled up next to Max, her soft fur brushing against his. You know, she said, I never thought I'd have a dog as my best friend. Max smiled, resting his head on his paws. I didn't think I'd ever be friends with a cat, either. But I'm glad we are. From that day on, Whiskers and Max were inseparable. They spent their days exploring, playing, and napping together, proving to everyone that cats and dogs could not only get along but could be the best of friends. Whether it was chasing butterflies or comforting each other during a storm, Whiskers and Max knew that their friendship was something truly special. And so, in their cozy little town, everyone knew about the unlikely friendship of Whiskers and Max, a bond that would last forever, through sunshine and storms, adventures and quiet moments.